Onshape's assembly list offers a number of methods to group and organize instances. Assemblies of complex designs can contain hundreds or even thousands of parts and subassemblies. Keeping track of these parts and subassemblies without organizational help can be challenging. Onshape's assembly list is organized into multiple levels. Expandable items are indicated with a right angle bracket. When this symbol is selected, the list item is expanded and the next level of content is exposed. This applies to expandable content within the assembly list, such as components with explicitly created mate connectors, folders, replicate features, patterns, or subassemblies. Folders are a quick way to organize an assembly structure. A common use for folders is the organization of hardware or multiple instances of a part or subassembly. Use the folder's right-click menu to hide or show, suppress or unsuppress, or delete the folder and its content. There are two ways to create a folder in the assembly list. The first is to select one or multiple parts or subassemblies, right-click a selection, and choose Add Selection to Folder. This prompts for the new folder's name. Type the name and accept the folder. The selected instances are added to the new folder, Additional instances can be dragged into the folder or out of the folder once the folder is created. The second way to create a new folder is to select the Create New Folder icon at the top of the assembly list. Name the new folder and accept. Add content to the folder by dragging instances into the folder. Remove content from a folder by dragging instances out of the folder. To move all content out of a folder and remove the folder from the assembly list, right-click the folder and choose Unpack Folder. Deleting a folder prior to unpacking also deletes its content. Subassemblies are a robust way to organize content within an assembly. Subassemblies allow a subset of components, often with a common function or location, to be grouped together along with their respective mates. Subassemblies are inserted into a top level assembly through the same method as parts. However, subassemblies can also be created from components within a top level assembly. Select the components and choose Move to New Subassembly. The new subassembly shows in the assembly list, and the components are nested under the subassembly. The new subassembly is added as an assembly tab within the document. Rename the new assembly tab to rename the subassembly. An empty subassembly can be created by right-clicking anywhere in the assembly list and choosing Create Empty Subassembly. Add instances to subassemblies by dragging and dropping the instance into the subassembly. Any respective mates applied on the top-level assembly move to that subassembly and are listed separately from the top-level mates in a Mate Features folder. Remove instances from a subassembly by dragging the instance out of the subassembly. The instance is moved to the top level assembly or other subassemblies if the drag was placed in a different subassembly, along with its corresponding mates. To completely dissolve a subassembly and move the contents up a level, right click on the subassembly and select Dissolve Subassembly. This moves the subassembly instances to the top level, removing the subassembly but leaving its tab empty within the document. If the empty subassembly will not be used, make sure to delete the tab. Organizing and structuring large assemblies is tantamount to maintaining order, especially when multiple users are collaborating on the design. Parts are easier to find and their function and location are better understood through the use of folders and subassemblies.